<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I make videos on fashion, styling, and shopping. And today's video is going to be a catch up with me. Um, I'm going to show you guys a few things I've been buying, which has not been much actually. I mean, I've really been sort of on a spending freeze. Uh, why have I been missing? because some of you have asked me um and the future of the channel and just really the space that i'm in right now um i'm going to give you guys an update on all of those things but before we get into that let's just get into this outfit i actually have on like sweatpants right now because you know it's in the middle of the day and i'm gonna start my lunch break but this is a sweater that you guys have seen if you do follow me on Instagram. If you do not, why are you not following me there? I'm at Socially Stacey J. Please follow me. Um, I post pretty regularly, you know, um, not as much as I used to, but you can still get some fashion inspiration there and I will be posting more regularly, you know, um, in the future. That's it. Just, I mean, it's not much to it. I love this cardigan. I got this cardigan a long time ago, like before I left Houston. So, the ketchup. You know what? It's been a while since I've uploaded, and really the reason why I haven't uploaded has been really because I haven't really felt really motivated to um, upload, if that makes any sense. A, I've had a lot of things going on. Most of you do know, um, if you've been following me for a while, that I've relocated from Texas to D.C., and that's been a bit of a transition. And I really have spent the, the past few months really trying to kind of get my life acclimated. Like I really had up until like about a month or so ago, I was still driving around with a Texas license. <laughs> I still had Texas plates. And so I had to get that taken care of. I hadn't switched over any of my doctors. I had to find, you know, like a rheumatologist because I do have rheumatoid arthritis. So I thought that's a whole other story. Um, I needed to find a gynecologist, you know, I had to find a dentist. So I had, I kind of spent the last few months doing that because, you know, I relocated here basically in October of last year and, you know, then the holidays came and then I had COVID. So I just really didn't have a chance to kind of get a lot of those things taken care of. And now I'm just kind of getting into that. So I've really been focusing on that. Plus we've been doing renovations for the house. We started strong when I first got here and then with COVID and whatever, we sort of took a break. Now we've kind of started doing that again. Like we just redid the floors in the kitchen because the house was completely outdated and we've been slowly but surely updating it to, you know, the standards that I would have. <laughs> um, but no, so it's just been a lot. And honestly, y'all, I really haven't been motivated fashion wise. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm in like a rut, but I think it has to do with me personally because for me, just kind of evaluating where I was during the pandemic, I just bought way too many things. And it's really evident now that I'm in a place where I don't have as much space. So I've had to sort of like just reevaluate <laughs> um, my life in general. Like, why do I have so many things? And I think that sort of bothered me a lot. And I was like, you know what? I can't even buy anything else until I go through everything that I need to go through and figure out what. I guess brings me joy. Like, what do I like wearing? You know, my style has changed significantly from even the things I did buy when I was on that spending spree, you know, during COVID when I was at home doing nothing. Like, I don't even really like, even a, a lot of those things I do still like, like, but it's not really something that I know I'm gonna reach for. Like, I've already taken like four bags to Goodwill and I took a lot of stuff to Goodwill before I even left Houston. So, I think I had just been overwhelmed with just trying to figure out, you know, I need to make sure that I get my wardrobe down to a workable, I guess a workable space, a workable, I, and not even just space, but just a workable mindset. Because when you have so much stuff, then it's hard to get dressed because you don't even know where to find anything. And I think it was just really overwhelming for me. So I had to kind of go through everything. And that's part of the reason why I really haven't filmed too, because things have been everywhere. So even doing styling videos, it's been hard to find things because again, I'm constantly going through things because I had stuff everywhere. Now, I'm sort of transitioning out of my winter things to spring. So we're sort of like, you know, switching over things and putting like all my winter things in bins. And then I'm taking the time now to kind of go through, you know, all the things that 
you know, I know that I'm probably not gonna wear <laughs> anymore. So those are the things I'm kind of taking to, to Goodwill. And so I'm finally pretty much done going through everything. I'm gonna go through like maybe one more, just do one more sweep and be like, oh, am I really gonna wear this? Cause some things we're kind of on the fence about, you know what I'm saying? So I think I'm gonna go back through that stuff one more time and then I'll be like, okay. And I already feel like a huge weight has been lifted off by even going through and getting rid of a lot of those clothes because it was just it's not doing anyone any good and honestly i did have a lot of good stuff so it does make me feel you know good that somebody's gonna get some good stuff at goodwill because it's a lot of good stuff there like honestly the goodwill down the street from this house half that stuff's probably mine like literally you know so that's really what i've been doing um lately um however I do have some things to show you guys that I've been getting because as I've sort of like transitioned out of things that I know that I'm not going to wear anymore, like I got rid of a ton of like denim because honestly, I think I've finally transitioned out of like cheap denim, even though I still do have like a few pairs of like Zara jeans that I really do like. I really do go for like my Agoldi jeans and my frame jeans. Like those are the jeans that I wear the most. They're the most comfortable. And I don't reach for all the other jeans that I have. And I mean, I had like probably 40 pairs of jeans. I was like, I, and now I have like maybe a fourth of that. Cause I've gotten rid of a lot. And so with that being said, you know, there's a, because I got rid of some things that I knew, like some styles I knew I wasn't gonna wear anymore, more like I know, I, I think I got rid of a few, a lot of mom jeans actually, because I haven't really reached for like my true mom jeans anymore. They've been sort of replaced by these frame jeans that I wear. Um, but I did want some like more or less statement level jeans. I have a couple of pairs of jeans I'll show you guys today. I have a pair of shoes from YSL that I'm gonna show you guys today. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and I have something from Aritzia. And that's more of less like a basic, but it's more of an elevated basic that I think is worth showing you guys. And that's going to be pretty much it today. Um, I am going to show you a few of my favorite things that I am really loving right now. And if you follow me on Instagram, then one of them you've already seen because I've already told you guys about it. <laughs> um, so I'll go over that today. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be like more of a chit chat. And just really why I'm sort of like uninspired anyway by fashion. Because I just feel like it's just more the same. More the same, more the same, more the same. I mean, I don't really find a whole lot of things interesting. And even as I was like going through like all of the things that I do have, I mean, not much has changed. There's not too many things I'm like, yeah, I, I really feel like I have this hole or that hole. Honestly, what I knew I needed to do was give me some statement level jeans, maybe another statement shoe, which is what I have for you today. And it's not even really statement level, but it's, to me, it just kind of reads vintage. And then, you know, elevated basics. I mean, that's pretty much what, you know, I'm kind of going for because I already have so much. Like, y'all, I have a ton of shit. Like, it is absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, but that's really where I am. And so let's get into, like, what I am loving right now. So as I said before, I really haven't been buying too much of anything because A, I really haven't been super inspired to buy too many things. And I already have a lot of things anyway, so it, there is just no point to adding a ton of things to my collection of the massive amounts of things I already have. However, I am going to uh, a resort in, um, in Mexico next month actually. It's in about a month. And I needed some um, bathing suits because the bathing suits that I had before, well, first of all, I haven't been to any type of place to even wear a bathing suit since before COVID. It was probably maybe a year before COVID. So, you know, my body is not pre-COVID. <laughs> so I needed to update uh, my swimsuits for the most part because I cannot fit those swimsuits anymore. I didn't even bring them with me. I brought two that I bought right before I left. One's from like the Adidas collection. I think it's from like the, um, the Beyonce Adidas collab and then I had to have one from like Zara so but I'm gonna show you guys like my swimsuits and like you know the things I'm gonna pack for that trip in a separate video so I won't show you guys that today but honestly that's really all I've really been buying I haven't I don't I'm not buying anything else for that trip other than like some cover-ups I have coming in from Shein thanks so much from politics and fashion because she showed the cover up and she was like it's from Shein because she's in Mexico right now and I ordered that thing so fast so it's already shipped so I have some things like that but it's not gonna be anything like you know 
dresses or you know I have like one dress that's a little bit fast because like the titties are kind of like you know but I have it it fits it zips up so I'm going to do that and then it's just like a little you know beach hat and like and just cover-ups like nothing significant because I don't have that um one thing that I do want to let you guys know that I've been loving right now is like this fancy skin um body butter I don't know if you guys can see that but let me tell y'all something um y'all did not tell me that this was this is amazing this is my favorite body butter i've ever used it smells really clean like it doesn't have like a scent but it still smells like something but it's like really clean it's super thick but it's not like so thick that it takes you like forever to like <laughs> to rub it in. Like I hate, I hate that lotion where you're just like, you're like you're literally rubbing for days. You have to like use a towel to like, you know, make sure that you are, <laughs> are soaking in that moisture. It's not like that. Like it soaks into your skin super well. It's expensive. It's like $36, but this is so worth it. This is definitely a favorite of mine that I would highly recommend from you guys if you guys aren't using it. I have a feeling you guys have known about this thing for a long time and y'all didn't tell me about it. And I really should be upset i should be upset but in case you don't know fancy skin the body butter it is amazing um i did get a few things from her um and a few other things from her too i did get the cookies and cream mask that i've used only once i can't really tell the difference but i've only used it once so you know i'll keep you posted on that i did buy her toner um so i'm gonna start using that and I, she has like a moisturizer with um spf 30 in it so i have that as well so i just got that stuff and i got that stuff in the vib cell along with a few other things i needed to like re up on on like some foundation and stuff like that but yeah so that's pretty much it for that and then the other thing that I want to show you guys is this thing this is from Target y'all I saw this from Packets and Bows I don't even know if I know her real name but her channel is Packets and Bows y'all know who she is and she oh was it was it her no it wasn't Packets and Bows this was um Tanika B Tanika B talked about this and maybe her, if it wasn't her last video, it was her next to last video. And it was in her one, I think it was in her, her resort video. So that was very recent. And she talked about this from Target. This is from Mix Bar. It's an audio platform and it is called Sparkling Hibiscus. When I tell you this smells good, y'all. this yo it's very fruity it's i mean i you know what i'm not the the fragrance girl i don't even have a ton of fragrances to be honest with you so i can't tell you like what these notes are but it's it's a fruity like sweet scent if you like that then you're gonna love this like you're going to love it it was 19.99 i will link this and the fancy thing for you guys and then a couple other things well i'm not gonna say a couple other things but the other thing that i've been loving lately that i think you guys should try um this is from maybelline and Maybelline is probably my favorite drugstore brand because I will use like their foundation. I think they do a really good job, honestly, when it comes to like, you know, their face products. But these are called Superstay Matte Ink. I've worn, I have like four of them, but I've only worn two. Um, I've worn this red, which is what I have on right now. And then I also have, I've worn this one here, this little colorway. It's like more of a like a purplish pink color. And I mean, they work. It, the applicator is very like smooth and it's, more, I don't, I forget what you call it, but it goes on really, really nicely. It's not sticky when it goes on. Now it does dry a little bit drier, but I mean, I think it's fine for what it is. I mean, these are like seven dollars, so you're not gonna get like your NARS quality um, liquid lipsticks, but it does the job. The color payoff is absolutely there. It goes on really nice. It's not sticky. I was actually very impressed with these because I really, I don't know, like I'm trying to not 
be over the top with everything I buy. <laughs> like, you know, I have the almost $40 body butter. You know, I can't do $30, you know, for like four colorways of like the lipstick. Like, I gotta, I gotta start to, you know, pick and choose, you know, where I spend my money. But no, I, and I actually forgot about these because I bought these a long time ago. So I hope they even still make them <laughs> because... I just started using them when I like reorganized my little vanity situation here because I went home and I got a bunch of makeup and stuff that I had left. So that prompted me to sort of organize it again. And I was like, oh yeah, I found these because I totally forgot to buy them. And I started using them recently. I'm like, oh, these are actually really good. So I highly recommend them. They are called the Super Stay Matte Ink and I will link those for you guys as well. So that's it for like beauty. And I don't think I'm doing beauty, but you know what? Why not? You know, let you guys know what I'm using. But anyway, so on to like the apparel. All right, so let me tell y'all. What I'm gonna show you right now are jeans. Jeans that I was influenced to buy from Monroe, um, Janae, Tashira. Pretty much everybody that you guys follow, they have these jeans. And I was really on the fence about getting them because the price point is just ridiculous. Like I'll spend a couple hundred dollars on a pair of jeans, no issues, no problems there. But when you get to be like six, seven hundred dollars, that's where I have to like, you know, pause. I can't, like I can't do that. So I did not pay that for these. However, they did go on sale. I tried to buy a dupe, and I did buy a dupe actually. Like I bought a pair of frame jeans, and I will um, insert pictures of that because I wear those jeans all the time. I have them in two different washes. One's like more distressed, and one's with no distressing at all. Um, I bought them because the distressing had like the slits on the side, similar to the ones that I bought. And it does do the job. And I like those jeans. I wear them all the time. They're my most worn jeans, but it's not the same. It doesn't give you the same thing. Like it's similar, but the vibe is not quite what I wanted it to be. Um, so I really did try to like do an alternative pair because those jeans were like $200. You know what I mean? Like those jeans were not frame jeans were not cheap. So I just went on to Farfetch. So I went to Farfetch because they've been in my saved for a long, my saved list for a long time. So I was like, maybe we just go and see. And I ended up having my size for $560. Mind you, the original price was $695. Now, only a few sizes were $560, probably because they're coming from a boutique that is probably marking them down because they were, and so that's why they probably still have some left in my size. And that, because they came from like Sweden, I think, from Browns in Sweden. And yeah, so I went ahead and I bought the jeans. Now, here's the thing you know, the sticker shock isn't terrible for me because. I haven't really bought anything this entire year. I mean, I, I did buy the I did buy the Chanel like that sneakers, but I bought a few big things. I haven't bought a ton of smaller things at all, which really adds up. So, I mean, that's kind of going to be the vibe for me until it's time for me to really transition my wardrobe to like a completely different style, which I'm not really at yet. I mean, I don't really need anything else. So usually the things I'm gonna buy are gonna be probably the special pieces that I really, really wanted. So that's why I justified the purchase and I'm glad that I did. So I bought the Margiela jeans. They are the MM6 Margiela jeans with like the split. You guys have seen these jeans. Like I'm just gonna post pictures of people in the jeans because you guys know what they are and I'm not trying them on for you. But um, I did get these in a size 40. Um, people typically, because I've watched so many people's videos, and a lot of people don't tell you what size this is. I think Tashira from Politics and Fashion, she did say what size she wore, but most people don't tell you. This is a size 40 for me. I could have went up to a size 42. The 40 fits me absolutely perfectly. Um, so I would just get your normal size. Even if they are a little bit tight, you know, um, 
premium denim typically does stretch so I really wouldn't worry about it but these fit me perfectly like the length is perfect for me I'm 5'5 five five, so it hits a little bit below like my foot but if I put it on a pair of heels it'll just be so cute it'll be like the perfect um the perfect look just with your your um heel peeping over or peeking under the jean super high-waisted super duper high waist. they probably come up to like maybe like right here the vibe is totally different like i'm glad i got them and there's just nothing you can tell me about them i love these jeans so i highly recommend them now if you don't have a pair of jeans like a regular pair of jeans and you are looking for a pair of jeans I don't know that I would recommend spending $600 um, if you need like multiple pairs. But if you already have a ton of pairs of jeans and you're like, hey, I just really want a statement level pair of jeans and I, I this is perfect. And I also have another pair of statement jeans for you guys too. Uh, and this one is from Agoni. And I actually saw these politics and fashion she's definitely influenced me i've seen them now here's the thing though i didn't get them until i saw them on sale somewhere because my cousin sent me a link she's like oh these jeans are on they were like maybe 130 120 130 um i'm not i don't remember where it was maybe shop bop or revolve i don't really know she sent me the link and i bought them there um because i had been eyeing them too but i was like yeah i don't know if i want to spend because they were like i think 200 dollars. i was like yeah i don't really know but i was able to get a significant discount on them wherever i bought them i really don't know guys i i'll try and find them and see if they are still on sale but i've had these for a while i've already worn them several times so probably not but these are the jeans that um, it has like a little coloration thing on the back, which I thought was really cute. It has like the seams going up the front of the jean. And it has a little frayed hem here. And yeah, and then it looks very much structured. It's It has like an uneven waistline here. As you can see, and I just thought these were like super dope. Like I love them a lot. They fit me perfectly. These are a size 26. So if that gives you any indication, this is a 26. Those are a size 40. These fit true to size as well. That is my natural waist 26. I am a 26 and essentially all Ogobi jeans. I think I have like three pairs now. And maybe a pair of shorts and maybe four pairs of like denim. And so I think you can go with your normal like true waist size um, when it comes to a goatee. The other thing I bought was, again, <laughs> politics and fashion. And let me tell you this. Here's the thing. It's not like a lot of these things I've already seen, like the jeans, the Agoti jeans, I'd already peeped those because, you know, they popped up on like Farfetch and, you know, I'm always on like Shopbop and Revolve, whatever. So I'd already seen them. But for me, what makes me pull the trigger is when I see someone whose style I respect style them. Like, okay, so yeah, now I need them. Usually that's what makes me pull the trigger. Usually by the time I've already, by the time I've actually seen it on another influencer, more than likely I've already peeped it if I was really interested in it. Um, but that's what usually kind of like makes me like pull the trigger. So even in this situation, so I have been like eyeing like these Aritzia um, tanks, little like, I would say the, the crop tanks, because I, I have the ones from Zara. I've had some from Zara for like years. I get the little cheap ones. And again, they're cheap, so you have to replace them every single year. Um, and then some of them are a little bit like, my breasts have gotten a little bit bigger, I'm thinking. So it's just it kind of, it doesn't fit it doesn't fit me as well as it used to fit me when I was a little bit smaller. I'll just tell you that. But then they don't have a ton of different sizes either. So I said, let's just go ahead and upgrade. Because I do wear these a lot. Like I wore my little black crop one from Zara. 
like nonstop. I wear it all the time in the summertime because even with a pair of like one of those jeans there, you put like a little blazer on over there, even just by itself in a cute pair of shoes, you're cute. So I said I was gonna go ahead and replace my black one. These are expensive. These are from like their ba um, the Babaton brand within the store. I guess that's like maybe their, I'm assuming it's their private label, but when I say it's super thick, it's very much ribbed. I've already worn this particular one already. That's how, that just goes to show you that I'm not going to get a ton of wear out of it. And these were $58. So they are pricey, but again, this is a basic. This is an example of what an elevated basic would be for me. So I love these. And I ended up getting them in colors that I know I'm going to be wearing a lot of in, this, in the summer. This little Kelly green here. You guys know that I have those Bottega shoes in this particular green. So, I mean, this was a no-brainer for me. Um, it's pretty. And I feel like it's being washed out here. I'm going to see if I can color correct when I do edit this video. Because I feel like it's not coming across. But it's very much a Kelly green. And I also have like this little more of a tangerine orange. I think it's really cute too. Again, it's much brighter. Um, in person it's probably just the ring light here so yeah so I was able to do that and I thought that's gonna be money well spent because I will wear those all the time and it's just something that you can just easily throw on and I love 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 the colors okay so the last thing that I have or a pair of shoes from YSL <laughs> So I got these from Bloomingdale's and you know, they really remind me of like more of a vintage shoe. I don't know why this keeps, I uh, just, I'm a mess. But anyway, they remind me of like a, you know, like a vintage shoe and that's why I like them. And you really don't see too many people like with like YSL shoes outside of like the little shoes that have like a little YSL as like the heel or like a little YSL emblem, if you have like a little strappy shoe like that. But even that, like a lot of people aren't really checking for that anymore. I thought that these were a really good shoe to have because A, it's a still a classic style that I think will be, in, that will basically be in style for a long time, for years and years to come. Um, and nobody really has them. So I really want something that was a little bit different, you know, not, oh, another pair of Bottega shoes or whatever. Um, and I actually did look to see if there was another pair that I really wanted to say, like, you know, invest in. But honestly, I was like, I just can't see it. Like, I, you guys know I have that, that stretch sandal from Bottega. I'll insert a picture. I, you guys should know I've, I've worn that shoe to death. I really thought that I wanted it in the orange, but I just don't know that I want to get the same shoe like that. And then I feel, and then the other shoes that they do have in that particular colorway, essentially, I want the same color as this. You know, that's that's the color shoe that I do want. That I wanted it to be more or less statement level. But y'all, I just can't spend twelve hundred dollars. Like I like the prices are ridiculous. So I was like, you know what? Not not even. But these particular shoes were like six fifty, and I actually had some like Bloomingdale's money, which I don't know how I had Bloomingdale's money, but I had like Loyalist card money. So I was able to get about two hundred dollars off. So I got these little meals, they're denim meals, and again, it has like a little black heel on the sole. It has a little like YSO little um, logo here, but you can't really tell. This is a true denim. It's not too high. The heel's about maybe 3.75 inches tall, so it's still very walkable because you guys know it wasn't gonna be any higher than this. You know, and it's just look, I mean, just a very simple design, but I love the fact that it's denim. I love denim accessories, especially in the summertime. It has like a little YSL um, logo, but you can't really tell. It's like if you know, you know. I just thought that was really cute. And I haven't seen anybody with this shoe. So I thought it was really cute. So again, just a black sole, you know, Saint Laurent in the um, insole. 
It's fairly comfortable. I haven't seen anyone with this shoe. I like the fact that it's different. Not to say that I care about people having what I have. I'm not really that person. But I do kind of like the idea of, 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 of things being different. Because I told you guys that I just don't feel like we're in a fashion place that's super exciting right now. So I don't know. That's why I was like, oh, I was thinking about getting the stretch mules, you know, in the orange colorway. I was like, but that's the same. I don't know if I'm even going to be liking those shoes next year. So I don't know if I want to invest in another pair in just a different colorway. You know, I really wanted to do something that I know that will be able to stand the test of time. I think this is really cute. I mean, you can go with, I mean, with the browns, y'all. The browns, the whites, um, even like the oranges. I mean, it's just... You know, this can really, I can style this in a multitude of ways. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. But yeah, so I thought this was just a very dainty and cute shoe. I got this in a size 38. That is my normal size. Um, could I have went up a size? I don't know that I could have went up a size, to be honest with you. Um, I feel like it would have been a little bit too here. But my foot's like right at the back. Like, so it's not like I, I don't have a ton of room back there. But it's not over. Like, it still fits perfectly. I typically just like a little bit of extra, extra room. But that's just not how it's going to go. I know that if I went up a size, it was going to be too big. So this pretty much fits exactly true to size um, in a size 38. I didn't find it to be super narrow or anything like that. But I think that I have a narrow, no, narrower foot. So that doesn't really say much to be honest but yeah i mean just really cute just again cute 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 so so that's it guys that's what i've been doing um you know i'm going to upload more regularly now um i'm not gonna like leave you guys hanging and not give you guys any content but i just wasn't gonna sugarcoat it and be like oh yeah you know i've just been i mean i've just been really trying to <laughs> keep my head above water and take care of things i need to take care of right now i just really couldn't be bothered with filming because i just had so many things i've had to do like i have so um i you know i'm not gonna really make a ton of apologies for it because i mean that's just life you know and i know that you guys understand that um, but yeah, so I don't know. Just let me guys know what you guys think about my my purchases. There are not gonna be too many more of these, y'all. Like I'm really kind of done. <laughs> you know, this is probably you know the last shoe that I'll buy for the season because I have so many pairs of shoes that I just really didn't even get a chance to wear in previous times. So I mean, it's not like you're gonna be seeing a ton of that. But styling, yeah, you know, I love styling. So we're gonna be doing a lot more of that in the future. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. What have you guys been up to lately? What are your summer plans? Are you going on vacation soon? If so, let me know where you're going. If you got a deal or whatever, let me know because you know what? I'm still looking for deals. You know, <laughs> I'm in these streets um, right now. And yeah, so just, um, just let's shoot it up in the comment section. So I will talk to you guys later and have a good week.